2 with Cyanogen Mod 6.0 release stable. And you can see here that things are really actually quite quick. I have it overclocked at 691 megahertz. So you can see in set CPU, it's overclocked at 691. And it works very nice actually, much faster than the stock 2.1 ROM that I had on it before. And some other things here that you get all the apps for Android 2.2, like Chrome to Phone, Goggles, um, all the other 2.2 Android apps you can get. Apps open up very quickly. Uh, the, the menu here is real nice and smooth. Uh, some of the things that I have here is like wireless tether. You can use your phone as a wireless router for your laptop. That works really nice with this ROM. So it just says here it's been granted super user permission, so then it starts up. And it's an ad hoc network, so it should work with most devices. You can connect to it. And I get about a 1.3, 1.4 meg download on a 3G network. You can see the dialer is comes up quickly with there's not a whole lot of lag here like there was in the 2.1 ROM. It's pretty quick actually. You're real happy with the with a 6.0 stable release. You can see the memory manager and see what's running, what's taking the most memory, and kill different uh, apps. So yeah, this is really actually a lot faster than my other stock RAM was. Pretty happy with it. It wasn't hard to do. I have the uh, instructions out there how I did mine on twistbyte.com. You can check that out. Um, but yeah, I think it's really worth it. You can overclock it at 691 megahertz. That by itself is, is worth it if you're uh, willing to take the risk of uh, rooting and flashing a new ROM on your phone. So that's it.